<laughs> How about the silent kill where he just kicks the guard in the balls? Yeah. No, I, in the stealth missions, I love getting to the last guy, sneaking up behind him, pulling out the one shotgun, and quoting Jack Nicholson. Do you dance with the devil in the pale moonlight and then fire? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, though. Sure, you can't hear me, but... <laughs> What's your uh, what's your guy's most satisfying way of taking out somebody as Batman? As Batman. Oh, well, that would be the inverted takedown naturally. Hmm. Um, I would no, actually. Uh, and then actually, and then you, I would think, I would, No, what I like I think, doing is um I like knocking them out. I like trying to get them isolated. Knock them yeah. out with a battering while I'm on top of them spray an explosive gel. Because I have the, I have the, you know, the one where they're, if they're near it, it'll explode. Yeah. I run away, oh. they get a boom. Jesus. <laughs> the Riddler was right. Batman is a villain. Just like the rest of us. <laughs> no, I would say... It was like, get up, pal. To me, to me, from my entire playthrough, there were two specific uh, enemies that I loved... <laughs> knocking out. One was the henchman that you rescue from falling, which gets <laughs> you the achievement. I think you guys remember that, right? Yeah. You pick him up, you save pick his life, up. and then you <laughs> slam his face Bam! into the paint. <laughs> <laughs> and my first encounter with one of the crazy henchmen. Oh, yeah, the ones that scream and flail all over the place. The one that screams, and if you just counter it, just like, like no! <laughs> no, oh! no! The thing is, I always counter them, throw them against the wall, and then press R you know, our triangle, whatever the button yeah. is on the 360, and just, you know, take him out. It's like, put him on the ground and punch out. <laughs> yeah, that was actually, that was pretty fun the, f the first few times, but after a while, it's like all that's out in the open areas, the outdoor areas, is the crazy people. So it got kind yeah. of old after a while. Yeah, they're, they're too easy to kill, that's what it is. They're one hit kills. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like Joker summoned a Karibo or something. I uh, the challenge. I apologize I guess, for that reference. I guess let's <laughs> the, uh, let's. I uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess let's discuss the uh, combat right now. I found it fun, but it's a little bit wearing towards the end. I'm um, still not exactly sure how some of the the counter mechanics work. Oh, uh, as long as the spider sense is tingling, if you press triangle, you'll counter it. Oh, yeah. wait until you play hard mode. Yeah, I know that the counter is gone in hard mode because I'm already playing it in hard mode. But um, well, as as long as you hit the triangle button, uh, well, as long as you're not doing something else when you hit the triangle button, that's the that's yeah. the big thing. If you accidentally like try to attack something, um, you can't cancel out of it or anything. So, you, you the the thing about the the main thing you have to remember in Batman uh, Batman's combat system is not to button mash. Yeah, oh, you, I never you, you will get killed in later parts in the game if you do nothing but mutton. Yeah, yeah. as a side note, I liked that bonus that they give you. I think it's an I think it's an upgrade, but uh, it doubles your combat score every time you do a perfectly timed attack. Basically, it's a, it's all you a, have to do is not button mash, and you get extra combo numbers. Yeah, it's a yeah. great way to build up EXP. I it's a great way to get. It's a great way to get to the to get the trophies and achievements too. <laughs> I got a forty combo one fairly early on. So. Oh, I was so close <laughs> to a forty I, combo. I got that. I didn't get that until I started playing the Joker missions. No, I was so close. I think it was at the very end of the game where you crashed the party. <laughs> which, yeah. which, by, which, by the way, did you let the henchmen finish off their sentences before you punched them? No, I kind of uh, <laughs> went up and just punched them because I thought they were going to attack me the second I walked into the room. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what no, I punch, did, it's punch. <laughs> what I did was first I lured away the uh, the few outside the hallway with batarangs and beat the shit out of those away from all the other ones. Then I walked through the door, planted bombs at everyone's feet while they were still not doing anything, <laughs> set them all off, you. and blew half of them to hell while they were applauding me. <laughs> yes. He's, he's, planting, he's planting bombs at our feet. What should we do? Keep I'm applauding. <laughs> it's, oh, by the way, I really love how his explosive gel, he sprays it in a bat shape, and the stuff actually grows its own ears. It's, it's like... <laughs> it's like it's so out of place though. We have this dark gritty Batman and he has something stupid like that. It's like I have some explosive gel. Instead of 
you know, drawing it in a formation that would work for the wall. I'm just going to draw the bat symbol. <laughs> I'm letting out my artistic fury. <laughs> and you know what? You plant the you plant them as landmines on the floor, and nobody notices the sizzling explosive gel shaped like a bat on the floor. It's just like what the fuck? <laughs> Blind and deaf. I like the remote control battering, though. Speaking of the gadgets, I like it, but I never really found it useful. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I found it I... useful at a few points, mostly just to get one guy unconscious and to lure the other ones away. I only uh, used it one time, and that was for an achievement, and that was by accident. Uh, what achievement was it? I can't remember. Catch. The one way catch. catch. Oh yeah, catch your own battery. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, yeah. I haven't. I haven't <laughs> used it. I haven't. I haven't gotten that one. But I figured out a while ago that it was probably the uh, remote control battery that you're supposed to use for that, because <laughs> I can't figure out a way to catch the regular ones. Incidentally, Sonic Batarang is a piece of shit. Don't bother with it. I never got it during my normal playthrough. Good, because it's a waste of an upgrade. It is. I got it when they first basically made it available because I thought I needed it for, you know, the Sonic Color things. But then I realized, oh, it just makes the guys aware that you're in the room. That's all it does. <laughs> it doesn't make them see you as long as you're uh, you know, standing right I next to done, the guy. <laughs> I could have done that with my fists. I know. <laughs> <laughs> could have done it with a regular Batarang. Swing. Ah, oh, well. The triple batterings are fun, though. Take up yeah. at the same time. <laughs> I do like the uh, multiple battering upgrades. Those are great. Yeah. They don't seem to knock the enemy down quite as long as a regular battering, though. I think it's a trade off for knocking down three guys. Yeah, but on the other hand, you knock down three guys in a stealth situation, they all get up by the time you even get to knock down one guy, and it's just like, ye I, just, I just told them that I'm in here. Great. Wonderful. The bat so, claw yeah. was pretty stupid. The bat claw? Yeah. It's only useful for opening things you can't reach. Oh, I used it in combat <laughs> a couple of times. I, I really oh, oh you know what I enemy. used? I did it in a challenge mission, you see. I was there was a, um I was in the uh, intensive care area. Um and I was on one I was on the side of one rail on a, on one of the on one of the platforms, and on the platform directly across from like a drop was one of the guys, and I just backclawed him and pulled him into the pit, and he landed and got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was cool. You, you, you can make some use out of it. It's better than the Sonic Batarang. Yeah, the Sonic Batarang is pretty pointless. Yeah. No, I'd say um, one of the funniest things, my brother actually did it. Was uh, He was uh, trying to silent take down somebody. It's not, this is not Elliot I'm talking about. I'm talking about my uh, other brother, Mark, who's pretty much the biggest... Batman fanatic in this house. He was trying to silent take down somebody in a part where you can't get seen, otherwise the guys in the cage will be dropped to hell. Oh, in the... In garden. the botanical gardens, yeah. yeah. Only for him to accidentally equip the bat claw and shoot the guy in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that isn't, that the, isn't that the mission where you're supposed to go to the leader first? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, there, goes, there go the doctors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I just remembered how many times I failed at that room before realizing how easy it was to get to the end. Uh, Did anyone else forget that you actually had the zip line at one point? Because you get it so late in the game. I used it so often that I never forgot about it. I never used um. it at all. And I got to the point where you're supposed to get to the top of the... Dude, dude I, went zi I went zipline crazy the moment I got that thing. It's a faster way than running. I forgot that I had it. <laughs> Except for parts that I needed it, I, I completely forgot that I had yeah, it. Yeah, I forgot that I had hey, it at the intensity. Hey, chair, hey, where you're supposed anyone to get it. watching this, if you haven't gotten to the end of the party yet, forget my planting bombs at the guy's feet thing. Take your zipline and just plow through the line of people at the party. Just do that. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, just hey. back claw one to the face. <laughs> yeah, but I I I went zipline crazy mostly because I remembered a couple of uh secrets that I couldn't have, that I couldn't get to. Um Oh. Oh, wait. You know what? Uh another thing I want to mention. Batman's power-ups. He seems very selective about when he takes his new gadgets. Even though they were, they I guess technically they were all like in the Bat Cave, 